Hey everybody, today we are going to do a before and after comparison of a kettlebell swing. This is Mike from one of our seminars a couple years ago. And the top is the beginning of the seminar where we don't coach you a whole lot and you just, um, you know, we teach you the basics and you go do some swings and then the bottom's after he's been coached up for the whole day. Uh, and as you can see, five swings is done faster on the bottom than it is on the top. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, as you can see, it's just quicker, it's more efficient, and it's more relaxed. Um, if you kind of zoom in on the face here, um, you can see, you know, the stress in the face in the top picture. This is the before, so he's using a lot of energy. Way more relaxed in the bottom picture at, at the end of the seminar when we've really cleaned him up. So he's off the bat, just way more efficient. Uh, and the big thing is the height of the swing. You can see in the top picture, he's got a much greater angle as he, uh, than he does in the bottom picture. I would say even here, it's too much. In the bottom picture, I would say it's still too high. If we use the lines of the bricks, we can see that he is above that line. We would want to be more straight out. Uh, and to do that, he could just think about using his lats a little bit more, locking this upper arm bone into the top of the torso a little bit better at the top. And then at the same time, using his wrists to kind of break that kettlebell and add some tension there in the hands to slow that thing down and get it going back the other direction. Uh, you'll also notice he's a lot more patient um, in the final pillar of our kettlebell teaching process, the sequencing. You really want to make sure when you're doing kettlebell swings that you let this kettlebell drop and let this angle close down as it comes down. And you can see in the bottom picture, he does a lot better job of that. Um, it's also, if we can use um, his shorts as a guide, in the top picture here, you can see where his wrists pass through, kind of at, um, at this red mark right here. And in the bottom picture, it's, it's higher. Um, it's higher up on the leg as it passes through the legs on the way back down. And that's really important if you, if you want to be more efficient with the kettlebell swing. So I hope you see us at the end of January on Leap Day. If you want to learn more about the kettlebell swing, coaches and fixes, and how to get more efficient, check out our website, go to our store, come to our seminar. Have a good one.